she suggested that I start my YouTube videos with them. So I thought it was so sweet and thank you. If you are watching, thank you for this. I love it. I will start my videos like this now. Also, um, I took a poll on Instagram because I wanted like a fan base name like most YouTubers have. And I let you guys pick between, between beauty queens and baby dolls and you guys picked baby dolls. So welcome baby doll. Today's video is going to be on just like a sit down chit chat. We're just like hanging out. I'm drinking some truly out of a champagne glass just because I feel like being extra. You can't tell from the dress and the fact that I'm hanging out in the formal living room for the video. Anyways, um, yeah, so today's video is just going to be a list of things that I wrote down. Just like shit that goes down in the clubs that most people don't know about. Fun stuff, not fun stuff, a little bit of everything. Something that most people don't know is that a lot of clubs have house moms. Um, a house mom is somebody that hangs out in the locker room. She is usually a she is usually a makeup artist and a hairdresser. She does the girls hair and makeup, but she's so much more than that to the club. She is like the girls peace of mind that their shit isn't gonna get stolen. She has tampons, perfumes. She makes sure that the locker room runs smoothly because guys, you throw a bunch of grown ass women with their hormones, with alcohol to fight, not to fight, but basically whether we like to admit it or not, compete over money. And it is basically just a recipe for disaster. I've worked at clubs before where they didn't have a house mom, where even I, myself, I know, got into to a little squabble, you know? So house moms are very, very important at clubs. And I think that most people don't even know about house moms. Um, we tip her out, we pay her just like we would like the DJ or security or VIP host or literally everybody else that we pay inside that club to work there. But yeah, um, we have house moms. While I'm at it, dancers, yeah, we do make a lot of money. I mean, some of us, honestly, a lot don't. <laughs> I'm gonna be really transparent. A lot of women <coughs> in the industry don't make that much money. It doesn't mean that it's not worth the job, you guys. There is so much freedom to this job that is not just money. Okay, so with that being said, we do make money, okay? But we do pay a lot of money to work. We are independent contractors. We have to pay daily fees every single day on top of the fact that we buy our own dresses, our own makeup, you know, hair extensions, eyelashes, the house mom, the DJ, the house fee, all that stuff, very expensive. So these are things that most people that are not in the industry do not know. Um, Here's another one. I'm gonna start like checking these off. Something else that people don't know or would not expect is that a lot of the guys that come into the club are super delusional, okay? Um, and that, I shouldn't say this, I shouldn't say delusional. There are men and women, okay? I've seen a lot of women in the industry marry up. I'm just gonna put it that way. And men that come to strip clubs and they're looking for a partic particular type of woman, entertainer, usually somebody that's like really polished, refined, that knows how to properly carry a glass. You can take them to a nice, listen, there are different like classes. I hate to sound classist. I'm not trying to be classist, but there are different classes within the strip club world. Okay. And some of the more, some of the more refined ladies that are entertainers, will usually end up marrying up. Because in certain gentlemen's clubs, the high-end ones, they attract guys that are you know, affluent. And I think that it's easier to cut through the BS when you walk into one of these clubs and like, it's kind of like an unspoken agreement. Like you are going to maintain beautiful and poised and let's pretend that you were never a dancer and I will take care of you in exchange for you being my wife. People don't talk about this enough, but it's literally a thing, okay? One, I've seen this happen a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, okay? Um, at the higher end clubs. I'm not saying it doesn't happen at like the not gentleman clubs, not the high, high club. How do I say this without saying like an asshole? I don't care. I'm gonna say how it is, yeah. Um, it happens a lot at the very expensive, very high end 
clubs. Um, men look for wives and women look for husbands, rich husbands. Okay? Uh, that's something that a lot of people don't know. Um, something else that people don't know is that dancers are really, really, really into witchcraft. Seriously. We're super into manifesting and witchcraft and spells and it is very normal for us to talk about just this type of stuff and, and it's it's a thing and i know i know that now everybody's on the bandwagon now everyone's into spiritual work but i'm just saying like we allure men with our looks so that they give us their hard-earned money yeah so that's something most people don't know either um women strip clubs strippers are very 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 into witchcraft and a lot of people are out of the witch closet just recently i've noticed something else that people i this not really a secret but you get shunned out um if you are out of the strip closet you will be shunned out by like your peers i guess that are not in the industry if i'm gonna be completely honest with you um i do not have friends at this point in my life anymore because what is the point is that at least this is how i feel that are not in that haven't been or that are not in the sex industry like i'm not wasting my time with normies and i hate to call them normies but literally you'll make a friend with somebody or like people that are not in the industry and all it is is all they have to say is and it's, it gets to the point where it's just like eh, you know it's it gets old it gets old so you kind of get like shunned out by people and even if you dress better, even if you speak better, even if you're more poised, like literally you could be shitting on everyone around you on, on every sense of the word and like they will still be like the stripper, you know? And it's not like, oh, she's a stripper. It's like the stripper. Like you, all right, you get shunned out and it, it, it gets old. It's like, yeah, what the fuck ever? What the fuck ever, you know? You're even like literally the people's closest to you. like. If they haven't been in the industry, like, they will say some snark shit behind you, behind your back about you being a dancer. Or they will literally just fucking straight up refer to you as the stripper. And not in a good way. Like, in a not good way. So, yeah. Like I said, I don't really fuck with normal people um, when it comes to, especially when it comes to women. The thing that people don't know about dancers is that we're literally, like, really good at just a lot of random different things. I mean, a lot of the girls that are dancers literally look like models. They keep... For the most part, their fitness up to par. Their our makeup, like hair, the way we mm -mm. dancers are just really, really good at a lot of different things, um, and that's something that people don't really realize. Um, aside from the fact that, like, to be a dancer, you have to already come as like a package with all this stuff. A lot of the girls have a life outside of there. Like, they do have other, you know businesses or like they are full-time models or they're like rappers or like actresses singers literally there's girls that are in fencing where i work fencing yeah so random but yes this one really should not be a secret but like we drink like tanks all right you cannot <laughs> this is so funny because Sorry, this happened to me literally just a couple days ago. I was at work and you could tell this guy was trying to get me drunk. He ended up getting himself drunk and acting like a complete ass. That's besides the point. If you're trying to get us like super drunk for whatever reason, like you're probably gonna get more tore up than we do. Um, this should not come as a surprise, but we don't really sleep. We just take naps as often as we can. But dancers, we don't sleep. Especially the ones that work night shift. Maybe the day shift ones, like, they sleep, I guess. Um, but dancers, like, we just don't sleep. <laughs> okay, this one's a funny one. Okay, so, I think for the most part, like, we all know that as a dancer, you can basically travel anywhere as long as you, you know, look okay. Um, and you'll get hired almost anywhere. What they don't tell you is that starting out a new club is literally <laughs> like starting a new school midterm and naked. Yeah. <laughs> I've been doing this for a long time and I 
was traveling, you know, every few months for a minute. And I would always get nervous. My boyfriend's like, but what do you mean? Like, you've been doing this for so long. I'm like, you don't understand. Like, you don't understand. It is literally like high school on steroids. These people do not grow up. Um, the men or the women, okay? It's very clicky. There's always a group of like popular girls and then, and then yeah, there's like this weird this like little weird pyramid that they've like I don't know. It's a thing. Yeah. So it basically sh it could take you anywhere from like four to five months to really get adjusted at a club. You can't just like, I mean, you could just like pick your shit up and be like, you know, maybe you're like a super extrovert, but for me, it, it's literally like starting school, midterm and naked. <laughs> um, also, people don't really talk about that much. It's like when you're on stage, you can feel and hear when people are talking about you. And it's kind of annoying, especially when it's like all like girls like at a table and they're laughing and they're looking like you can tell that girls like this is literally how the club works. This is literally how the club works. This is stuff people don't talk about. Um, and something else that people don't talk about is like dancers are fucking ruthless. OK, I don't care how pretty the package is wrapped and how dainty she acts or how shy she acts, if you have put a pair of shoes on ever, I don't care if you did it for two minutes, you're a different breed. Um, straight up. <laughs> and these girls are ruthless um, in a good and bad way. So yeah. Um, that was my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven things that uh, people don't really talk about that happen in the club or that happen after you're a dancer. If you are not already, please comment, like, share, and subscribe. And follow me on Instagram.